All right, shall I end? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to start with Hebrew. It is an Afro-Asiatic language. And even if you write it as a sentence, is Hebrew an Afro-Asiatic language? And everybody with an Afro should know and understand this. That, that should be one of the main things that everybody gets. You're in this position for a reason. It states here, give here, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. This is Moses or Moshe talking, uh, Moshe or Moses, right? in the English version of Moshe. My doctrine shall drop as rain, my speech shall distill as the dew as the small rain upon the tender herb and the showers upon the grass because i will publish the name of the ishi he did i am that i am now it states ascribe ye the greatness unto our and i'm just going to say what it says it says elohim okay it says he is the rock his work is perfect for all his ways are judgment now again he's he will clearly state the l o ha the highest god the most high he will state this later it says a elohim no excuse me an ale an ale of truth and without iniquity just and right is he they have corrupted themselves their spot is not the spot of his children they are a perverse and crooked generation he's talking about right now i want you to understand he's talking about us right now you in t-shirts and jeans and pants and khaki all this he's talking about us do ye thus requite the ishi, so requite means to what? Treat a person, right? How you treat a person, benefit, reward, ripen, serve. Do ye thus requite, do you serve the ishi, O foolish people and unwise? So he's the God of wisdom, so it's a, it's a mocking. Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Now, in this generation, we don't really understand that because it's all been taken away from us. They make it very clear. Remember the days of old. Now, you don't have the ability to do this. All you have to do is get your book. And it will say, remember the days of old, which you read in Genesis. Consider the years of many generations from Abraham to you. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Bow your head down, pray, ask the Most High, and he'll show you. He'll show you the elders, and, excuse me, thy elders, meaning the older people, will, they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance. Now, this shows you every nation should know who the Most High is. They all have a record of it. When he departed the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Ishi's portion is his people. Jacob, however you want to pronounce it, Yahob, is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in the desert land, in a desert land, in and in a waste, howling desert. So he found him in a wasted state. He led him about, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. His favorite creation. As an eat, see this is the funny thing. As you sit there and, huh, you, 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 you start worshiping idols, you pick something to idolize, you pick a part of creation to worship the whole time, the most high, has set you 
as his special creation. He not sitting watching the sun saying, hmm, so glad I created the sun. Not sitting there watching the moon or any of the stars doing this. He's sitting there watching his people. He's sitting there saying, I'm glad I created them. See, and this is what we don't respect. There's nobody there to remind us. There's just people there to say, God loves the church, or God loves Christian, or God loves Catholic. When the Most High don't say nothing like that. They have their own Elohims. And their Elohims, their Ales, love them. And when they say that out loud, it confuses the whole bunch. Because we only think of it as. Yeah. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. This is the Most High taking care of us. So the Ishi alone did lead him, and there is, was no strange God with him. Now, you understand strange means foreign. So, imagine, they always show you this image of what they claim to be the Son of God, yet, we all know there's a description of God. So, it doesn't match. He made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields and that, and he made him to suck honey out of rock or syrups, analog syrup. Because again, bees are unclean, so why would he give him something unclean? And oil out of the flinty rock. Kind, excuse me, butter of kind and milk of sheep, a clean animal, with the fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan, and the goats of the fat of kidneys of wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grapes. Grape juice. But, now here's where it changes. Yeshurun, that's the people that come from Jacob. Now we don't switch from Jacob. To the people that Jacob created. Yeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness, and he forsook. Now, what does forsook mean, huh? It means to leave. He left Most High. He left their L O I. Everybody see this? This is when the, the number of changes h four four three if i go up here and every time we see god it's not going to see, say h four four three i need you to understand that h four three zero. Oh. the other time uh it was h four ten so now it says the L-O-A, meaning the creator. Second form is rare. So here's Ale, 410. Here's Elohim, meaning many. And this is the singular. Now, this used to say the highest. This has been altered. I'll continue reading and I'll show you. Those that have been watching continuously, I'll show you it's been altered. They used to, for the word devils, it used to say shadows. It used to tell us exactly what devils were. They were shadow people. They provoked him to anger with strange gods, with abominations. They provoked him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils. Now, I'm going to show you right here. 7,700. Now, it says shade, a demon. Now, 
You know right now a demon is a shade. It says it's from 7736. It says to swallow up, to waste, to devastate. Now I want people to remi uh, remember waste. Remember the word waste. To waste away things like that. Here, Deuteronomy. They sacrificed unto shadows. Now, as we scroll down, it's going to show us something interesting. One second. All right, so under H7700, 7700, the first thing that comes up is shade, the pronunciation. So when we're looking here, in the pronunciation, it says shade right there. So when we go down, it's going to tell us, again, like it did, a demon or a devil. As we can see here, to the Hebrew people, to our people, shadow people are devils. And again, to the Christian, uh, a, a, a being with red skin and horns and a tail is the devil. Uh, why is the word shade uh, taken, uh, shadow taken out of this? I, I don't know, but it has been altered. So they sacrificed unto devils or unto shadow people, not to the L O A. Eloha, all right, to, to Elohim they knew not. So again, it's telling you that right there that the shades, the shadow beams are Elohim. I hope people are understanding this. When you see videos of shadow people, those are Elohim. Now, what happens when Elohim die on the earth after, once they've fallen? What happens when they fall and then die? This talent is right here for us. To new Elohim that newly came up, whom your fathers feared not. Yeah, it says right here. It tells us what type of gods. They're devils. Now, let's go further. Now, I am preparing with uh, with Joseph to do a couple of things, you know. So this will be like, you know, we've seen them talk about they they, uh, they sacrifice, meaning the Circassians. Not now, what we just read was our own people. Let's make this very clear: Afro people, our own people, sacrificing to the fallen that have died new gods because they got into new bodies called shadows now we're getting ready to do the spirits land sea air all that shit you know um and we have things uh spirits in nature and you again we have people that say that they uh intercourse with these things, intercourse with ghosts, intercourse with fates. Uh, you've heard people talk about the mermaids. So we're gonna we're gonna tackle all this. It's all so we right before that. It just so happens we're we're on this one. So let us click and see what it says real real quick. Al Jan. So most people will think of this as Allah. Okay, so Allah, the father of Jinn, and they say, he created it from earth, from the densest of elements. In it, there is dryness which resembles clay and solidity, which resembles the bones, being the support of the body. He created the Jan. You, you and me, we've been taught to call him Jin. I hope you're understanding this. We, this is America when we got false everything. Okay. They pronounce it Jin. 
it's Jan, like January. He created the Jan as the interior of the human body and anime, animal soul, which is hidden from senses. This Jan is the father of the jinn. Now, they just gave you a description of what jinn are. They are something that resembles Now, think of how you see apparitions, spirits, and shadows, or how other people claim they see or claim this recording is authentic, because I, I'm pretty much sure most of the people that view these videos don't have that kind of life. Didn't have those things open for them. Nobody types in my comments, my door opens on its own. So, instead of reading about these these, these false things, right? Uh, this is supposed to exist. This is supposed to exist. Right? Here's what the real is. This is the real. Okay. So the John, they are the ancestor of the jinn in Islam. So, I hope everybody understands, because this is about to come up real quick, okay? I want, I want people to understand. Please understand, this is going to be a reoccurring thing. I'm going to leave this up, and I'm just going to tag team it. I'm just come back right there, right to it. Chop, chop. Yeah, yeah. Look how fast that was. I'm just playing. All right, so. They are said to inhabit, to have inhabit, inhabited the earth before Adam, ruled by a king called Jan Ibn Jan, Jan Jan. In folklore, however, many consider them to be punished and turned into the weakest class of being. Think about that. They are from before the flood, ruled before Adam was created. The flood would have killed them. And now the folklore says that this is their punishment. And what does it say for the, the punishment of the fallen angels? That they would not, when they die, they wouldn't find a home? Hmm? Batman facing Superman. <sighs> Do you bleed? Yeah, okay. And now, because they don't have any bodies anymore, disembodied spirits, shadow people, they are in the weakest class form, which is not, is classified as jinn. See? Comparable to which apes are seen as transformed humans. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? What do we read in the, in the, in the, in the book of Jashir about the, the Tower of Babel falling? That humans were turned into apes and elephants. Whether it says the, the image or the, you know, right? Does it matter? They're arguing that we get apes because, right? oh, the dead sea apes. See, okay, so they're not even saying here we have, see you see what we're going on the ignorant american the ignorant west that has conquered us and uses our titles to do everything they have labeled this as just plain old apes in fact it's called the dead sea apes right uh where transfer where according to the muslim literature tradition Right, they were dwellers by the Dead Sea who were transformed into apes for breaking the Sabbath. So it's Muslims telling a uh, a tradition that belongs to the the Israelites, who was given the Sabbath. And why isn't this a story that you have in Israelite books, not the Bible? Because again, it's it's just 
a story. We don't know if it's true. Is there a story in the Bible that matches this? I don't think so. All right. A similar story is found in tradition when the people built the Tower of Babel. Hmm. Now, what are they saying? Are, are, we, are they trying to tell us, in, in their opinion, that the Tower of Babel was built by the Dead Sea? I don't know. I don't know. But here we have it. It is in our books, but as the Tower of Babel, like I said before I even, you know, started this, right? Turning. Uh, they were punished by turning them into apes and phantoms. See that? So now, instead of apes and elephants, they say it's apes and phantoms. Oh, but now, we see that the phantom story, and, and see, they, they tell us this is the Superman story, right? When General Zod is sent to the phantom realm. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, all right, so once you start getting into these TikToks, a bunch of these TikToks are uh, them telling you, and again, you're just listening to people. There's, there, there's no evidence uh, that the disembodied spirits, uh, which are the ones that are the fallen, uh, the, you know, uh, the ones that weren't tied up, right? They, they, this is what they talk about the whole time, right? Over and over again, saying that, Basically, they can't inhabit this realm because they are phantoms, and they're they're what their story reflects the Superman story. It's a fucking snake on his chest. What does it stand for? Hope, oh, right? <laughs> Just teasing us, right? With 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 the Adam and Eve story, right? Excuse me, the Eve and the serpent story. Excuse me, the most high punishing. Yeah, this story, right? Because what is Lex Luthor trying to do the whole time? Hmm? He's trying to kill Superman. Why? Because he's a foreigner to the planet in his view. But well, what are the writers really portraying? Superman is relative to the fallen. He's just not a fallen that's been sent into the phantom realm. Previous fallens have been sent into the phantom realm. That's what he's telling. Hmm? And there's an S on his chest representing what? The snake in the garden, which is the reptile beings. This isn't that hard. We just don't want to believe it. They tell you there's nothing new under the sun. You hear it? Everybody keeps on saying, same old story, same old story. Is the word. Jan is from J N N. Again, there was no J before, so they're saying it's a Semitic root, right? So they're blaming it on us. You see how silly that is? If the Semitics were taken down in the 1500s, they didn't create the J. Who do people say Jin today? Like they can't pronounce Jan. Well, see, we're gonna have a little bit of intermixed shit right here, right? Watch this. It is an Arabic term. So the Arabs who are Jafet are pretending that they're the Arabs that are Jafet are pretending that they're what? That they're Shem? Uh Jafet will dwell in the tits of Shem, whose primary meaning is to hide. Oh, isn't that funny? In reference to the angle snake, right? It is a neuter singular for jinn. While genie or gin nigga, right? You got the word nigga right there. Nigga, come on, nigga, nigga, gin nigga, right? Are either objectives or masculine and feminine singulars or both. The term designate a supernatural creature or a serpent. Oh, okay, the following account on the term creatures is called. See, I told you these things are fucking creatures. Demons are creatures. And these are a particular type of demon that what? It already died. All it can do is pester you as it tries to what? Pull enough energy to come back into to what? Hold the frequency? Uh, how long can you hold your breath? That's as long as it can fucking stay. 
called Jan lived on the earth, but they caused mischief in it and shed blood. So the Most High sent his angels who drove them from the earth. They didn't leave. They cut them out of their flesh. And it is said that these angels became the inhabitants of the earth after the jinn. How could they be driven from the earth if they inhabit the earth? It's written wrong. He cut them out. He sent them to cut their ass out of their flesh. Send them. Take this sword. And send them into the phantom realm. And why is that? Because for the fallen there is no place for them to go. <laughs> here it is right here. All this. All right. So, the pre-Adam area. The Quran claims, links the angels complaining about the creation of Adam to witness the corruption of the offspring of the Algin, uh, the previous ruler of the world. It explains that after the Most High created the world, he created the jinn from smokeless fire. His descendants multiplied and shed blood, whereupon, thereupon, the Most High sent angels from heaven under the command of Azazel. That doesn't sound right, does it? That sounds like one of the people, right? Azazel, legendary prototype of the devil in the Zionist culture, is considered to be among God's greatest, uh, nearest to his throne because he, but because he sinned through pride, he became a devil as well. So, that's an interesting story, right? He's the first one to sent to cut down sons of God, and then later he is cut down as a son of God. Isn't that interesting? Right? Jesus is the son of God! Get the fuck up. That stupid ass shit, but Tilly smack, smack them back to their daddy's sack. In Persian, Islamic legends. The world is ruled by Jan Jan, son of Jan. Jan Jan, son of Jan, who's 2,000 years before Adam was created, autumn was created. They were similar to humans in many ways and in many legends. Most High sent prophets to them, just as prophets were sent to humans. Jan Jan offend, offered, excuse me, offended the heavens, whereupon the Most High sent Iblis with an army of angels and chastised him. But Jan Jan refused to submit to the angels, and a war ensued. At the end, Jan Jan was overthrown by Abyss uh, Iblis which is what they call the devil now, or Shaitan, and the angels who reigned the world onwards instead. Okay, so basically he sent a crew to replace that crew, and then that, again, the earth corrupts people, right? In another account, Fred, uh, Jinn were referred to as Jan. They would have battled angelic Jinn under the command of Iblis, but were driven away from the face of the earth. So again, that's saying they were sent underground or saying they're, they're, they're cast into hell, something of that nature. The Arabic legends regard the Pyramid of Giza as remains of the work uh, done under the rule. Do I have to play the, image, the, the, the video of them building Egypt in the 1900s and them telling the excuse that they're rebuilding Egypt and recording themselves rebuilding Egypt and recording themselves putting up hollow Negro statues in that land is because where Egypt was before the flooding started and they wanted to preserve the pyramids so they moved them to Egypt no matter where they was from before. Do I have to play that clip again? I got it when I saw Wood Nichols. Now I see UBTV have it. Now I see all these people on uh, 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 TikTok got it. Many people in the world done seen it. Many people don't, don't, never thought, like, why are they building it? It's false. Wherever it was before, it wasn't in Africa. So, <clears throat> I think we're good here. We pretty much get the sense of what's going on with these Jin Jins, Jan Jans, whatever, whatever is you want to call us calls. Now, I myself, I noticed 
I'll be hearing people online all the time with their shirt off talking some the ancestors and this and that and you know all of them got these old man faces these young bodies remind me of Moab and these dreadlocks all mimicking each other acting like they discovered somethings but they's only just parroting some shit that they heard somewhere else because the greatest thing the Negro has is the, 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 the memory to repeat my people they die from lack of knowledge and the stuff they want to repeat is the shit that puts them in prison but my hebrews that understand who they are they have stopped that shit the most high has blessed them so now I like to show you what I'm talking about. These fake gurus are shirtless in 2023 like they poor as hell. I hope y'all ready to get started. This shit about to get live. nuts that's running around here shirtless and this one that goes down out of space and talks to the ancestors and stupid ass shits and you fall off you fallen angels worshiping these ass clowns and well we're on the spiritual streets here Rashad Jamal was found guilty Who? of the unthinkable you know and they saying they gave him a Who? well Word on these spiritual streets is Rashad Jamal was found guilty of the unthinkable. You know, and they saying they gave him a whole lot of time. And um, I hate to be the one to say I told you so, but I told y'all. I told y'all. Rashad Jamal was very disrespectful to Orishas. He was very. Who is, who is Orishas? Who who is Orishas? What you talking about? Huh? What, what, what's all this shit he's talking about? Y'all, all these dumbass motherfuckers get on screen and talk in code. I'm here for information flowing to and fro, and they're talking this dumbass code. Oh, was found guilty of the unthinkable. Krampus! He was, you know, and they saying they gave him a... You know, the unthinkable. You know? No, I don't, dumbass. You, you just said the unthinkable. You didn't say he was out there crampusing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you got that motherfucker behind bars for crampusing. Huh? Huh? whole lot of time. And um, I hate to be the one to say I told you so, but I told y'all. I told y'all. Rashad Jamal was very disrespectful to Orishas. Okay. He was very disrespectful to Ifa and the tradition. He didn't know what he was talking about, and he was meddling in things that he shouldn't have been meddling in. Uh -oh. And this is coming from somebody like me that grew up in the tradition. This is what people was not understanding. Oh, so it's a tradition of Orisha. So what is the tradition of Orisha? <clears throat> the Orishas are natural forces of nature, a part of God who meditate between old, 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 old Umir and humanity. Humanity can commune directly with God. Period. Oh, thank you for that. By way of trance or possession. Wait, what? Always in a ritual setting. 
What? Ibu or sacrifice? What? Is broad concept including all types of sacrifices and offerings to Orisha. This motherfuckers. <laughs> These motherfuckers is nuts. These these nuts. Let me let me talk to you in a language that you can understand. Listen, nigga, y'all done lost your motherfucking wits. You up here worshiping fucking you're worshiping fallen angels. Hmm? <laughs> Spirits who got no body no more. Hmm? And you open yourself up to trance and possession. <laughs> You on screen fulfilling Deuteronomy 32 when you was told not to do this shit. How how would these old stupid law have mercy on no. Lord fulfill your will? Neither is she fulfill his will. And look at this man. They practiced in African bullshit. Orishi spirits. So, everybody know what's going on. The ancestors, the ones that lived before Adam. So, they take their shirts off to act like Africans as they worship uh, spirits. Now, do we have the spirits that were in control before the flood, the kings and rulers of the earth? Aren't they always holding that acorn? Is that what they're doing? Hey, 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 hey I'm trying to understand. Hmm? And so they are doing, these dudes, modern dudes today, they're doing the same thing that two dudes is carved in a way little purse basket. They they forgot to have a little purse basket. They forgot to make their deal with one of those fallings that they get they place on an egg. And see, they call us niggas because we just half-assing and we ain't putting our fucking shit in gear. Hmm? See, I mean, you see this dude's half-assing and he ain't got the robes and shit you know they just he's just, he's just going they're doing this in africa and, and 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 the white man took everything from them so even though he's got this kind of car this kind of house these kind of products and shit like the, the, these africans that they don't have the ones he's learned stuff or he's mimicking right like if it, in the, the key role in the yorba if i type in the yorba right that's 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 what it's a religion but what are the yorba people run around in. See if I type this in and they run around shirtless, then 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 we'll understand exactly what they're doing. He's faking it. He's playing fucking hollow. We, well let's see first. Let's see first. And they're not running around shirtless. In fact they run around in garments. And I run around in t-shirts and I run around in jeans and I run around playing fucking I'm a Western. They are Islamic. They do not worship the most high. They were doing this before when they were in Asia, when they got removed from Asia by the Canaanites and placed in Africa the home of the Asians. See, what they have the black people doing is, the black people, uh, they is playing Asian. They playing Hamite, they playing Canaanite. We not in home, and where's our home? Is there, look at the statues in India. Look at all the Negro statues in India, in Thailand. Where is these ancient Negro statues in Africa? We've been living for thousands of years and they ain't got out of the hunting gathering stage. Yet all these buildings that 
all the other nations say, all the other nations say, who built all this? This becomes silly. Again, when the Asian defeated the white man and took the white man's portion of Asia, the white man was in Africa. When we thought it was a good idea to rule in America, and we decided to go to Africa and take the slave from there, we accepted the deal. We didn't go and seek out. It was a deal. That's how the white people got to America. White fucking gold. Yet, here you have 2023, and these niggas would rather take off their fucking shirts and play Africa than use a goddamn book. It's a shame. It's a shame. Let's go back to this. This is just the hottest thing on the market. So we know now he done, the, out of jealousy, this ass clown done got mad. Here, I got a point like this. But he got mad and he started revealing everything that they worship spirits. They fuck around to get possessed. They think that they can talk to God by getting possessed by the Orishas. Now, when you look at Africa, Africa, they make it look sad all the time because they have all these great portions. In Africa, they make it look like they live worse than the people in trailer parks here. Yo, yeah, they got like three or five cities that are, that are, that are, but that's three or five. How many people live out in tribal communities with nothing? Fucking sticks and stones to fend off from the, from, from, from the animals. You've seen these villages, they're shacks, but they got fucking jeans. They got, they got t-shirts on. They're mining barefoot. They have the clothes, they don't have the shoes. And they're mining to what, do what? To start their own markets? No. To sell at a low cost to, to the other nations so the nations can sell the shit to us at a high cost. So, again, he was very disrespectful to the Orishis, to the spirits. And this Ifa or whatever, you know, him and me is not so Ishi is not what they're calling on. They ain't calling on. You will no longer call me Baal. You will no longer call me Lord. You will call me the Ishi. And again, Ishi is Septu Ishi. And again, everything was named Septu. <laughs> when honesty rang forth, everything was uh, Septu again. What they call the sea. Is, uh, uh, something that sounded like September. But those days have passed. No matter who was in control. The world was given in the hands of the wicked. They still was named as shit Septi. <clears throat> they just, Septimius. This was saying, hey, there, this. And, but they just, came, they just came into even knowing about this stuff last year or the year before. Oh. Like, relax, humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, you can't tell a con man. To humble himself. That's why he's resting in jail right now. Uh, nobody that's truly into Ifa follows Rashad Jamal's teachings on Orishas. I'm just gonna tell you, you know, <laughs> like that's what it is. And ultimately, you gotta realize that Eshu is always watching. Eshu is always watching. And Eshu is always making sure law is being obtained. <coughs> law and order is being upheld. Eshu is always doing that. You talking about Isus? I'm just asking because y'all say these names and the computer won't spell them right. You know, he's the one who watches people if they're breaking taboos. People doing what they're supposed to do. Eshu is watching. So when you're coming out here... And you're perpetrating like this or like that, like this or like that. Like, you know what you're talking about with Arisha's. Come on, man. 
a lot of people that follow Rashad Jamal um, that have come in contact with my content, at first, you know, they felt the same way until they continued watching and started to learn something. And they like, oh, I see what you were saying now. Real quick, letting this come up, catch up. Bet, I, I understand now. Right, I know. I know. And that's why when you go through my videos, you see. Okay, so here's what he's saying, basically. I'm sure most people understand his code talk, but yeah. So he's saying that when Rajah came out, he didn't know anything about what he was talking about. So that's a con man. That's a true sign of con man. But because of his flair, taking his shirt off and shit like that, the ability to hype up the audience, the showmanship, right? That's why they tell you, we talk with your hands, right? They, had, they, had, they all pointed out. So be, to be able to do this, he attracted so much attention. Now, when his new audience wanted more, that they stumbled upon this man's stuff. And when they stumbled upon this man's stuff, they started to understand the foundations of how to worship these shadow beings to get them to put themselves in a trance so that they can be possessed, so they can pretend talk to God. The Most High ain't going to talk to them. <laughs> but instead of outwardly saying, we're practicing Orisha, they sit there and say, as a code in the public, the ancestors. Now, because your enemy nabs your ass and puts your ass in prison, the truth will come out. And now, anybody that's watched you and had a distaste in their mouth because of you, now they know why. Again, if your sect is now the get along or a get along gang, most people didn't know what was going on with the get along. Why is these niggas always like, get the, the hair braided up like that and they shirt off and talking about ancestors? That combination is what you get as a glimpse. This ain't sit down, watch their video, and understand the message that they're coming with. They're not coming, honestly. They come in with hidden jibber jabber because in reality they worship in shadow figures. They think they worship in fucking beings up there. They're calling them ancestors because everybody know when the white man sit there and say, Oh, the ghosts come and the ghosts take the shape of your grandpa or your grandma. How you know that? Well, because I was fucking around with Ouija boards and this is a so these niggas is broke and they ain't got no, they well off because of the internet money. They're doing it in a way where they don't need a Ouija board. Now, you see how the two different cultures that clash against each other actually do the same fucking evil shit? Hmm. Very interesting. So, let's look at that little ass where jealousy is unstruck. Uh, everybody should be watching me instead of Jamal, okay? Ha <laughs> I got a little Christian cross shadow right across his face. The shadow come right here and curve. Curve down his forehead, go right across his eyebrows. Got a little fucking weird cross right there, right? Let's watch cross face. Me with what? Priests and priestesses in Ifa from different places that are respected, that are known by people in the practice so, not by a bunch of random people that's just coming into spirituality and did you hear that now you see what jamal done caused with his shirtless parade a bunch of randos a bunch of a bunch of rando pretenders <laughs> and, and see this is how we know we in the last days everybody's being grouped up on purpose Five minutes ago, you couldn't tell who was on what's team by the way they was rambling nonsense. Now, we go to, ooh, I'm the guy that should be in charge. He's doing these fucking relaxation videos and shit. <laughs> so, I'm about to fall asleep. Bro, you make it a five minute video. You can't sit the fuck up. <laughs> figure yourself out no <coughs> people that have been in ifa for 30 years follow these people 
You dig? So that's how I be plugged into the culture. That's how I be plugged into the tradition. Most of the traditions, right? The stuff I'm telling people, a lot of that come from my grandmother. A lot of that come from my great grandmother. Ah, you hear that, right? So now we see what's happening here. Uh, Wow, we supposed to get our knowledge out of this book. Why are we supposed to get our spirituality out of this book and uh, learn to have a pious, what is that? A pious, right? Respect for the Most High. But instead, they're doing what? They turned away from the Most High. Grandma. Is, and great grandma is teaching them witchcraft. Let them take you. That's, you want to be raptured by some spirits? That do sound feminine, don't it? Let them take you. You know, I'm going to defend this shit. Like, you know, let them take your stuff. Let them, huh? No, I'm going to defend my stuff. Right? That's again, what? Right there on screen. Same person to sign those goddamn birth certificates. <laughs> right? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't say tell me what I'm saying. And you're saying it is cruel. I don't give a fuck. The truth don't fucking come with harps and shit. You didn't you fuck to the truth. Angels. Good angels, come and play harps right now. Send send those little fat chubby ones. Let them fly by my shoulders and play harps as we tell it because it's sweet. That's not how the truth come. The truth come in a fucking joker grin. You know, my family was actively into a Risha tradition. And that's all I was trying to say. It's like, it's like if a, if a military vet come tell you the realities of war, if you just jump down their neck like they don't know what they're talking about, dog, they're they're telling you from their real point of view because they've been there. They done been the world. They done been everything. They let you know how this shit go. And all I was letting y'all know was how this go. You want to deal with E5? You want to connect to these Arishas? Come through credible people like me and the people that you see on my channel. Then you will learn the real on how to really go about it. I'm going to do a deeper dive on this and really break the... Oh, don't worry about it. How to worship demons.com. This is fucking trying to sell a goddamn car right now. I'm telling you, if you want to be able to kiss these demons ass the right way, to give them a body to use, you need to come to somebody whose mama's told them how to lay down for the demons to go inside of them. Go inside of them, demons. Nasty motherfuckers. Down deeper with this Rashad Jamal situation, but this is just me... You know, reminding y'all that blue you. And I let you know that it didn't look good for that case. Go back and watch that video. You know what I'm saying? I let people know it don't look good for Rashad Jamal. No, oh, okay. See, when you understand, uh, Rashad Jamal is in prison for Krampusing. The Orishi master over here is trying to tell you the situation that got him in jail doesn't look good, meaning what? It's all true. I don't know how this guy he doesn't seem close to the situation. I don't care why he's in jail. There's a video that's coming up that's going to say an opinion of why he's in jail, and I think it's a great opinion. It has nothing to do with the case. It's wonderful. So there's a little bit more in here. Anybody interested in hearing what he's going to say? I'm interested in hearing what he's going to say because he's just going to keep running his mouth and telling us the real deal about what these Negroes were doing the whole time in front of us when they was talking in code. And he's going to tell us why these dumb niggas is running around fucking shirtless. No fucking shirt, no goddamn shoes, no fucking show service, no fucking viewership. I don't want to watch a nigga run around shirtless. I'm a nigga. I can run around shirtless. Shit. Now they didn't found them guilty, so shit. And they found him, they, apparently they gave him all that time because he took it to trial. They probably offered him a plea and he didn't take the plea. So when you don't take a plea deal, 
and you get found guilty, that's when they bury you with time because you they feel like you wasted the court's resources, you wasted the taxpayer's dollars to string this out the trial. Okay. Now they're going to hit you. You did? Now they're going to hit you. So, you know, it is what it is. People are going to still feel how they want to feel. But guess what? Court, listen, listen. I'm, 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 I'm just give you my dumbass opinion. Okay? Court's a bitch. You can make an accusation against somebody. It's they goddamn proof. It's their job to prove they didn't do that. If you go to prison, you did not prove you didn't do it. It does not fucking matter if you did or didn't. I know, I'm not. I don't, I don't like any of these motherfuckers. I don't know any of them personally, but with as they present themselves, they're getting the same reason why some people don't watch what I do. So, you know, that's how I feel about that shit. We gonna go further. Guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna still be doing. Still be in a tradition. Still dealing with people around the world that's in the tradition as priests and priestesses. Still tending to my orishas that are consecrated in the pot. Not no little mini statues. Uh huh. <laughs> Tell me more. And I'm gonna still be doing me. And oh. the people that learn from me will continue to grow within the tradition, within the culture, and better their lives. And the people that don't, they don't. They're gonna look for the next Rashad. I got five. One, two, three, four, five on it. Most high. If I stay in the, in the good, on judgment, can I judge this cat? On judgment day, can I sentence this cat <sighs> for its influence upon others to worship devil? For not taking the time to read this word. Oh, level of ignorance here. Ignorance has oh, split meaning, split meaning in this realm. Ignorance defines, it defines as what? To not know. But the root word of ignorance is to ignore. Get that motherfucker to stiff arm. Uh, get, double up. Uh, uh. So, come on, man. I mean, you ain't got to be with me. Nobody's got to be with me on this shit. It don't matter. The language we use is with me. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Ma, to teach them, you know, whatever useless information. And the wrong information in the culture and better their lives. And the people that don't, they don't. They're going to look for the next Rashad Jamal to teach them, you know, whatever useless information and or wrong information. And that's that. That's life. The that's world that. spins. And that's that. That's life. The world spins. Spiritually. Spiritually, this is fucked up. Hello? I'd like to report some dumbasses worshiping devil. Yeah. All right, man. Just got on the banana line and I started to report. Uh, these people are fucking nuts. Orishis. Orishas. Singular Orisha are spirits that play key roles in the Yoruba religion of West Africa and several religions of the African diaspora. Diaspora. Flower. Spore. That uh, they derive it from uh, such as Cuban, Dominican, Puerto Rican because those are the fucking Greeks that came out of Africa as servants and overthrew their masters and now they tell them what they tell the, 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 the indigenous that they're from Africa and they tell the black Spanish what you show your face you die
why you have melanated people with last names with Spanish. Not that weird Spanish Mexican mix, no offense or anything. There's your Spanish last name and Portuguese last name. Uh, the preferred spelling, sorry, no, orixa, okay, but the X should be a SH. Oh, look at that. So sometimes when we see X, it should actually be a SH. Mm, okay, so all kinds, of, right? There we go. In Portuguese and Spanish speaking countries. So again, if they overthrew you, then they'd be like, oh, our gods did this for us, so we're going to continue to worship our gods. Okay? But they knew they had to pretend because what? Because they were enslaved and what? Because the, the Moors are black and the Moors in Europe was a class system. Not all of us are Moabites. The Moors in Arabia were, were a different lot. Mm -hmm. And the Moors had white slaves, and white was just a classification for Japheth, whether they be pale or not. The Italians are classified as white, but their skin is very, very dark in comparison. So yeah, that shit don't make sense. According, all right. So we we already know what they are. They're not sent by no supreme creator, all right? You're not to tattoo yourself. And here they are, what, sitting with pain, not pain. Or, Olo Run is the ruler of the heavens in the Yorba. He is a supreme god or supreme being. So, okay, so if the supreme being punishes you, if, if the supreme being gives you life, you in flesh, if the supreme being punishes you, you are in a spirit realm. You're in the lowest form. So they call in on spirits, beings in a lower form than themselves. To, now you see what happened? The Iblis got mad. Okay, the Iblis was sent to destroy these before the flood, but then after the flood, the Iblis fell because he wouldn't bow to Adam. So then the Iblis would be what? Put in the same position. He'd be cast to earth in the flesh. And then eventually, just like all fleshly creatures, he would die. And then he would be in the spirit. So now, this motherfucker done tricked man in the bowing down to him in the spirit form, claiming that he can get him to God. Do you see why people need teachers? Why you see, you see why these ignorant niggas running around off a goddamn leash is just insane? They doing the exact opposite of 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 of, of, of the punishment. The shaitan, which is Iblis, said he did not want to bow down to humans and or to man, excuse me, not humans, to man, and that's why he was kicked out and then eventually killed in the flesh. Now, idiots like that guy, Boji and Jamal, is trying to teach people oh, that look like us, they're trying to directly teach the Israelites. Now, you see how evil this motherfucker is, if you understand who the Most High is? If you understand who the Most most High's people is? Now, how do you understand? How, my voice ain't gonna reach all these people that watch him. It ain't gonna matter. It's not supposed to. My voice is supposed to be to the set viewership so that they have this knowledge. Not a bunch of stray, dumbass facts that aren't true. Stray dog. Strayed away from his master. Even a, a what? A bull, a sheep know its master. But Israel, he know not. I'm not saying he's his Israelites. I'm saying whatever. They, they attract all people as him with this nonsense.
See, and this is the problem. Do, do they know what they do? He got plenty of time. Plenty of time to fucking sit down and think about what he was doing. These are fallen angels who have been destroyed. And these piece of shit niggas are sitting here online telling people to worship them because they got damn grandmas and yeah, huh? You ain't not no, you ain't gonna hear it. I'm gonna play all videos. There ain't nobody gonna say my grandpa taught me this shit. Grandpa was doing some other weird shit. Okay, so let's just continue. Okay, so so uh, they think these spirits uh uh listen to this, this is how stupid it is. I I run mold. I run I run mold. Spirits or divine beings incarnated as human on the earth, right? So this is what they, they these motherfuckers is trying to convince everybody they are, that they are divine beings. This is why they say they are divine beings. You will hear out of their mouth, I'm a divine being, right? This is why they sit there and say they're thousands of years old when they're fucking, they have a fucking reasonable birthday based on their look, like within 30 to 40 years and shit, right? Iron Mode took upon uh took on a human identity and lived as ordinary beings in the physical world but because they had their origin in the divine they have great wisdom and power at the moment of their creation so they're trying to say so okay so you must have lost that shit uh, uh, with, uh the pain of coming out of the fucking vagina you know when you came out of the womb, you must have lost that shit because this shit don't. You know, anybody that says they have divine wisdom, I'm I'm gonna fucking hold a goddamn calculator in front of them and fucking and just if you math don't lie, I mean, you should be able to answer any goddamn create uh, equation I can just think of on the spot. Because I I would imagine divine beings all come with calculators built into them like computers. Hmm. Test the motherfucking spirit. We'll start simple. What's two plus two? A couple of these dumbasses and practitioners, that's what he kept saying in the video, practicers of IFA or IFA, the religion. This is what they're talking about. A divination system of Yorba that represents the teachings of the Orisha. It, its ocular literal body is made up of 256 volumes. So again, ocular is, is what, oral? <laughs> or, or ocular I see I see right. 256 256 signs that are divided into two categories right oh boy oh, so you were so the shirtless man had all this shit right he was teaching all oh no no that's what the the recliner was bitching about the recliner was bitching he ain't teaching uh like this this <laughs> You fucking believe this shit. Right, he's not teaching this stuff, right? These practitioners, practitioners believe that the Orisha uh, have to be ordin have uh, have been ordinary humans who have who were deified upon okay, so it is an uh, apothesis. Oh shit. Oh, fuck man, you you know, I just know who that is. That's that's oh boy. Age of Apocalypse, the Blue X Men. <laughs> so, you know what, man? Upon their death, uh, due to their lives that they led, they were outstanding spirits, bro. Orisha found its way to Americas as a result of the slave trade bringing the white people here, and now expressed uh, in practices as varied as Santeria. That's not our people's shit. See, that's the problem. If I type in Santeria, they're going to show me Mexicans first, but they're going to try to sell me some shit with these images right now. This is this is the kind of shit that make, that make it make it hard. See, you just make it hard. So the Santeria, right? So you see that white people shit right there. That's Santeria, right? It is based upon the development of personal relationships through divine sacrificing it to be what? Possessed? Yeah, it's the same shit. Right? And then you go to images. Um, let's see. Now, yeah. 
science of Saturn. Is that is that El Brother Man? Is that dude didn't look too brotherly? Uh, I don't know. A lot of these people it looks like brothers and stuff, but here you see some over here is doing it. The rise of Santa Rita and Cuba. All right, so well, they got the real Cubans doing it. Along with so again, if the people from the islands are are from the islands, they didn't come from Africa. It was brought from Africa by the Africat. And people use this and play, want to play mix up all the time with all this shit. So, so, can Dolby, right? So, you see how this Trinidad, Orisha, so, they're not lying. This is how it spread throughout all these places where they what? They took the, the melanated people that were original, the Afro Brazilians and the Afro Cubans and shit. And they, they, and with the, with, with the Jafes children living there with them, they brought this shit. They can tell you you from Africa all day, but white people, you go, we've done videos showing each one of these authors are all caucus. They all show you when they left the caucus mountains, they went into Africa. The ones that left the caucus mountains went into Africa. And they were there with the Greeks, they were defeated, and they were brought to the Americas. Who were they defeated by? They were defeated by the white people of the Caucasus. That's right. So if you don't understand what's going on, I'll make this, I'll say this as slow as possible. White people or Caucasians of the North captured other Caucasians, put them in slavery, sold them to Americans, which were the black peoples. Now, the black Europeans were in America at that point, which made it easy for them to conquer Europe. And the Indians here that were black and the, and, 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 and the black Europeans that were under the title of black British they were defeated by the unity of the slaves and the Russians, which are all just different caucuses. We are in this condition because we were worshiping false gods and we were not worshiping the Most High. I don't care what they taught you in school. You know all that shit's a lie. You run around here saying the white man lie about everything, but you stick with the Africa shit because when you look at Africa, you see these poor people living there. These poor people were rich when they was in Asia. They were with, rich with the same shit. Now, if I sit here and I say it's the worship of spirits and I type in Asia, they're going to tell me all the different type of Asians that do the same damn shit. It's just a different name. Now it says, the concept of Orisha is similar to those deities in the traditional uh, religions of the Benini people and of Edu state. Edu is Edom. So, so they just taught you Edom's shit. So the you people, right? And the Benin and Ghana. And when you go to this stuff, it's going to tell you that they don't know their fucking history themselves. All these people are speaking a different type of language, but they all look the same. And Tongo and the phone people. Right? And so so, so you, you, you haven't stopped doing the same shit. And see, this should, this should be pretty easy for everybody to understand. It's the same shit that's right here in Deuteronomy 17. Deuteronomy 32 and 17. I don't truly expect to see the rest of the world doing this shit. I truly expect the children of Israel and, and other peoples that were connected or look like the children of Israel to be doing the exact same thing. It's right there. Ain't nothing new under the sun. It right, right here to tell you. 
all these places where there's Negroes, they's all doing the same thing, worshiping spirits instead of the Most High. And then here go these names that they keep calling out. Uh, you know, we just looked at the Ifa, right? That's what they keep saying, Ifa, right? And so that's this particular sect. And if you see, if you look real quick, it said Pantheon, where the Pantheon system of Orisha originates. So you see what they're doing? They're trying to go to the origin, but they're trying to go to the origin of what they're doing. So you see, they had to read to understand what the origin of what they're doing is. And then they went and chased the wickedness instead of chasing towards the righteousness. Now you, you, you're going to understand real fast why there's just a remnant. Practitioners believe that daily life depends on proper alignment and knowledge of one's ori. The ori literally means the head. But in spiritual matters, the, the, the people that's ruling over you go out and drink every fucking weekend, which fucks they head up. And they come right back and rule over your ass. You've been doing this for a thousand years. In your mind. In your timeline. And nothing changed. What's the definition of repeating the same shit over and over again and expecting a change? But no, it's insanity. Nice. What, 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 what motherfuckers do be calling this madness? Y'all practicing madness because y'all y'all asking to be possessed. Yet y'all don't know how to see you know, the white man know how to do it. You know how to open the window in his house where he practiced, where his ritualistic setting should be, but then he don't know no more. See this what they see this what they took for y'all from y'all, and see y'all don't know it. Y'all used to had a Ouija board, nigga, and you used to use the Ouija board to get the fucking spirit. Then, then you go into the trance, you stupid motherfuckers, and then you become possessed, you dumbass motherfuckers, you devils, you devils yourselves. Some orishas are rooted in ancestor worship. This should make it fucking familiar to all melanated people that watch any type of video when these niggas start saying to ancestors. Now you should know what they're talking about. <laughs> and you already know from your counterpart that overthrew you that the ancestor worship is ghosts. You already know ghosts are in a phantom state, the same state that shadow beings are in. You already know that voodoo play with the shadow man, the top hat wearing motherfucker. You already know voodoo come from the same land that they sit here practicing this stupid shit from. Ancestor worship of warriors and kings and founders of cities. And they name the cities after their own names, after their. <laughs> so written in a way you wouldn't understand that they worship in their biblical ancestors in, instead of the most high. But not the righteous ones, the ones that started cities. Come here! Guys don't even understand what Kanda is. Like fucking the advancements in chemistry because of the worship of the serpent chem. This is a toxin when you're bitten by the snake. This is anti-venom produced from the venom of the snake. When you take this and tie it to a string and spin it around and around and around, it creates a centrifuge. Get the fuck out of it. You guys are so fucking ignorant because of the lack of knowledge that was taken from you and put into hands of your servants. And now look at how far they've gone with it. And they went as far as you did. You were in blimps. They took that from you.
George Washington Carver to a thousand uses of the peanut. What caucus scientist has shown you a thousand uses for any one natural product of the earth? A peanut is the, the fruit of its parent. Who has shown you anything with one fruit of so many uses? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, they worship the founders of cities. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, well, it's rooted in ancestor worship, the worship of kings, warriors, founders of cities that were celebrated after the death and joined the pantheon of Yorba. De so you're arguing about the white man in his pantheon, but you practice in the fucking pantheon worship yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> Ancestors did not die. Yeah, they did. It just, just said they're after their death. That means they're fucking dead. They, uh, but were uh, seem to have disappeared. Oh my, this is like, uh, this is the scientific explanation of phantoms all of a sudden, right? This is recording the death of a loved one and watching the spirit come up on camera, right? I told you, you had this shit in the past. You can't see this shit with the naked eye. You think they were running around with headsets to be able to switch through the fucking different, uh, the spectrums of, no, you had cameras in the past. This is, this is evident. How could you see the spirit leaving the body without uh, artificial eyesight? Could they have seen to disappear. What does what does it do on camera? The spirit just goes up into the ceiling. You have no idea what happens after that because nobody switches cameras to the next floor or anything like that. Nobody switches cameras to the outside of the building, see if it went down, you know down on the ground or anything like that, and become orishi. That's how, that's how I'm beautiful. Everybody else knows spirits go to hell. See, this is the problem. You have to have a camera. You have to see the spirit going upward. And then you would have to assume it went up into the air. All the way up towards the firmament. See, that makes sense of people saying, when you die, you go to heaven. Because everybody sees the spirit going up. Nobody know if the spirit go to a uh, up to a window or, uh, and through the window and then they end up in hell. Nobody knows what happens. But you must tell me what human can, can see spirits leaving dead bodies without without it on camera. There, there might be a nurse or two like, oh shit, I saw this. They might have seen it. And then I would believe in the past they didn't have cameras. I would. But until that's done, right? Oh, so some Arishi, based on historical figures, are confirmed, confined to worship in their families, their towns, or origins. Other are venerated across wider geography. Okay, see, that makes sense. It's the domination the spirit can go. Some are trapped to towns of origin. Some are confined to just their families, to haunt their families. What are they doing? They're fucking haunting, right? What do you see? People go to a specific house because that's where that spirit died. Right? Or that's where they stashed the body. Something of that nature. ASC, IC, or something like that is the force that runs through all living things. See, I told you these goddamn astro notes. This fucking Star Wars right here. Tell me it's not. Tell me this thing fucking how the force is with you. These motherfuckers. You know, won't watch Star Wars. They more related to Star Wars than you know, fucking. Oh my goodness, man! You drunk ass nigga Jedi. Oh, rotten Judah. I'm in a trance. I'm possessed now. I'll be buying a little idea. I'll be chasing after these dudes because I'm possessed. Oh yeah, brothers killing brothers because they're all practicing Orishis, the pantheon of Orishi. Wouldn't that be something? Black on black crime is actually Orishi killing each other with every some shit. Your family killed my family two two thousand years ago. Okay. They run through all living things, living and inanimate, and is described as power to make things happen. I've watched movies where they said that that's pussy power. 
I've watched commercials where they say that battery power. I live in a home. I have I have sockets. I plug shit in and make shit happen. You see the level of ignorance that just runs all through this writing. They worship devils and they try to make it sound legitimate. All right, so it is an affirmation that is used to greetings and prayers, right? Oh. <laughs> as well as, so, you know, you got one people's going, Grand Rising, my dick woke up this morning. Thank God my dick works, right? <laughs> you got other people saying, Ace, 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 Ace. Ass, right? A S S A S E, right? When you're trying to write ass, but you're not trying to get in trouble. Oh, ace, right? Okay, ace in the hole. Okay, you went from an ace to a spade to an ace now, right? You gotta be kidding me. Orisha devotees strive to obtain some ass. Through a wall appeal. <laughs> they strive to obtain some ass. And he lost trying to do that. Oh man, I got a big one. <laughs> I can't believe somebody wrote this shit. I'm <laughs> fucking stupid. I have a five year old education. You know, don't worry. This is, this is Wikipedia. This is a rich man's son that wrote this shit. They want some peel. <laughs> some pele. Hey, girl. I ate the banana. I don't have the banana for me anymore. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in weeks. Oh my god. Oh. Damn, I'm at a loss. I don't know if I should do New Edition or Alexander O'Neill. Trying to get some, some banana peel. Mm. That's, that's not what it said, man. It says some Ace Pele. Ace is what Pele is. Is what Pele. <laughs> Gotta be swallowed. Look, Devin. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Woo. Ah, gentle. Mm. Yeah. And good character. Oh, y'all fucking failed. See, I, I see. What, mm. None of these motherfuckers got good character. Again, good character ain't gonna make me say, let me mimic other people's shit. Let me steal other people's shit. Good character ain't gonna say, let me worship in a pantheon. There's none of this shit makes sense. It's not good character. That's heathen character. If I say what is a heathen, you gonna tell me a certain set of things. There is no look to a heathen. Oh, but if people pretend, well then you're just falling for fucking con men. I opened this motherfucker up with these as just goddamn con men. So you just verified what I fucking said. Tell me you don't like me. Oh, I hate you, mother. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I, I'm okay with that. And in turn, they experience in alignment with the Ori. Okay. What other might call inner peace? This nigga screaming on camera every goddamn day. He ain't in no inner peace. This motherfucker falling asleep on camera. He ain't got. He ain't got, he, he ain't got, he, he had inner rest. <laughs> if that nigga was a music note, he'd be stopped. All right? Where, where this cat at? This cat right here. Tropicana. Canna. Khan. You see Khan right there. Right? Call him himself a king. A king of what? This is a, a man that think of himself as a spiritual leader calling himself a king. If all these people ain't con fucking fused. So, and satisfaction with life. 
none of these people are making any recordings showing that they're anywhere near satisfied. None of them. When I type in Yorba, like I did, and we looked at the Yorba people, they actually look at it. They look like they got a good life going. They got nice clothes. They got decent areas. All the fucking the background, the paint is all one color. Ain't no chipping. The room right there, yellow, bright yellow, happy. They got their people together. They can fucking organize the people to do stuff. They look happy. She, she, she don't right here, but everybody else do. Look at how happy these motherfuckers look. They look so happy, I would buy something from them. You know? If they were selling goods, I'd be like, let's go to them. They're just a happy couple. Let's just, you know? So, again, I don't, I don't see this. I don't see these people dressing in these gowns uh, 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 in, in America, making these broadcasts. I don't see them wearing this on their head. Again, another people's wearing hair coverings. Oh, they's from that same hair culture of Moses that covered their head, but they was what? They was pushed aside and they went back to what? Worshiping other gods. Worshiping things that were not gods. They got hair, hair, hair designs, like they got what, like flowers in their hair? Y'all don't do none of this shit. Y'all look evil on camera. Y'all look motherfucking mean on camera. People look at me, they say, I, I look ridiculous, but I'm saying interesting shit. Here they go scarring up their face. You ain't supposed to scar your skin. She looks like she's been in a fight with three cats. But the cat's lost. That's a tough woman. Don't fall on her. Here go another person scarring their face. That woman got some deep ass lacerations. He got some. I don't know. It could be paint. But that would, if that's paint, this is what Hollywood is shooting for. <laughs> she looks like her face is scarred. I mean, the pitting and everything. That shit looked dug out right there. See? This is what they do. Y'all not Yorba. Y'all some fakers. Y'all as fake as the white man fucking pretending to be us. And this dude, the only dude in the t-shirt. He could have left America, went to Africa, and I want to partake. We have no idea about any of these people's history. All we're seeing is they cut, they, they cut their beard off to scratch their face out. You see they grow facial hair. Like they in fights with tigers. But they do this to themselves. Meaning they not tough. Nothing happened to them. They all been placed in Africa. And they bored as shit. Because they take the minerals and the resources taken from them. Or sold cheaply. They ain't got nothing to do but express their creativity. And they give them gowns and clothing and building. You don't see shit else. You don't see them pulling up in a car. So stop all that shit. You're, you're not living like them. You're, you're, you're a different branch. Here go your fake ass image of the beast mimicking Africa. So imagine what do they want you to do? Imagine if they didn't want you to act like an African, they wouldn't let you see uh, 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 people like this. Or uh, what's that that lady India Adri or something like that who, who always dress in African stuff? They wouldn't let you see that shit. They wouldn't let you see it at all. You see this dude, the Yoruba people, they dress as knights would. They dress as the sultans would. 
this they mimicking the armor they used to have. They mimicking the face mask they used to wear in the battle. That's the problem. Y'all don't want to research nothing so you don't know what any of this is. You have to let your oppressor dictate what your own cousins are doing. Well, in this picture, Negro, it, they're, uh, no, man. Read a fucking book. Stop getting on camera, taking your fucking shirts off to fucking dance. And lie. Because y'all don't fucking tell these people none of this shit. Every one of these dumbasses that practice this shit would know more about it if they just read. I ain't know none of this shit before this morning. Shit, before I hit start. It's just another form of Santeria. Now, Santeria is fucking evil, and what do you think this shit is? Not our culture. It was the, the, the culture that is the children of the prince gave you a culture to worship devils. We was already doing shit like this as Israelites. You refuse to read the book. You've been taught the book is, oh, it's what the white man used to colonize. You are the colonizer. The white man was your slave. He overthrew you. All right. So, here's another video. Fair use. Fair use it. Uh, this one, you know, I think what you will. You know, I, I like you pay attention to the phenotype. Uh, what you think about Ricard. And then I'm going to show you another person that's going to come after this. In the next video, we're going to see somebody and they got the same phenotype. All right. And pardon me. Woof. Ginger tea. You really gets there, huh? All right. Three, two, one. This is this boy's boobie back with another one. So... They just sentenced Rashad Jamal to 16 years in prison. Rashad Jamal is a part of the woke community. Um, he's given, he was given. So you, you, you see, these people believe they are the woke community. Okay? Now, again, you have caucus using woke, and in, in, in their term means LGBT. You have the Negro using woke and it means uh, worship spirits. You see how the shit it don't make sense. <laughs> I hope you do. I mean, if you don't, you know, enjoy the ride. A lot of knowledge, a lot of insight on the world. You know what I'm saying? And the way the world was formed, the, and who we are, and you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of things that go against what we was always taught now okay. of course when you start so, spilling knowledge and especially so that's that's what the typical person thinks that jamal was intelligent he was sharing knowledge okay that's what you're going to hear out typical person all right uh come back to that one i don't want to go into this one now this one's this Fair video is use. hot i love this one <laughs> Divine attack, but oh, I love this. This is this is this is exactly what I mean. All right, so I gotta get up to a whole minute before I should just edit that, right? But you know how that's gonna go. All right. So, so here we have what he's saying is happening. The guy is a uh, divine attack. All right. So again, they believe the divine is what you know, these things that they worship so why would the things that they worship attack him right so that doesn't quite make it fine attack but the sentence the official sentence was he was sentenced for 16 years and then he was sentenced for 20 years probation mm. But me, honestly, I don't think he's going to be in there that long. All right, 
Mm -hmm. Let me read down real quick. I don't want the, sure. the strike or anything like that. So he's going to say, I don't let, uh, don't let this discourage you. Um, I feel like he don't wake up so much people after. Hmm. We need to do this. We need to do that. No, we need to stay on mission. We need to stay. We're in war right now. Teachers. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to say this. If you guys want your message to actually get out, you know your message needs to be shared to a degree. When people play your messages and you guys put this music in, it don't help nobody. It blocks what you say and, and, and people got to worry about strikes and all that shit, you know. So, again, even if you're not using strikes uh, music, again, it, it, to use your recording with music and then puts it on that and silly, silly stuff. So, he's, he's going to believe, he believes that we need a mass meditation. We need to break. Let's see what he says right here. Excuse me. He's going to keep happening. So all I'm going to say is stay on you or something. We don't got time to be. Everybody said we need a mass meditation. We break them out. We need to do this. We need to do that. So he's talking about what people are saying. He says, stay on mission. That's what it's about. Anybody who speaks out. So here's Jamal Rashad's wife. Right? Against the system. They always find a way to try to. I want to let you guys know that I'm definitely off for fight until my husband is home. Um, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Um, How are you? But I wanted you guys to hear from my mouth. I was there from the beginning to the end. So the 40 years is not true. Once again, they gave him 16 years to serve and 20 years of parole. As of right now, um, so you can see her eyes the way her sockets pucker out. If you look at this character, you see the way the sockets pucker out. Uh, again, when you look at her car, the sockets pucker out. So, again, you know, it becomes the coin toss of those three just mentioned. Uh, the two you can see in the third, you know, the leader of the GOCC. Are they all of the same uh, tribe? Are they Amon? Are they uh, Moab? You know, which one is it? I've historically been known to constantly say that this is a trait of Moab, but to be honest, I just know it's a trait of incest. It's a phenotype that is produced from incest, so the child will have bug, buggy eyes. I, there is no information far as in where he's going to be transferred or anything like that. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they had him on 24 hour lockdown. Um, so I haven't been able to really talk to him since uh, yesterday. Um, so why did they lock somebody down for 24 hours? Did he went in there and start acting up? But like I said, thank you for all that support. Um, we are going to fight to get him home. Um, we're, now we're working on an appeal. Um, if anyone knows anyone that actually has done appeals um, that may be in the Atlanta um, area, um, please do not hesitate to inbox or email. No, see, that's you looking for somebody to do some shit for you. Tell, he got all the goddamn free time in the world. He need to go to act his ass right and then go down to the prison library and start fucking asking questions and reading books. This is how you handle things correctly. What are you doing on the screen? Anybody know a shortcut? Any shortcut over here? Anybody know a shortcut? All right, well, here we go. The 
evidence was tampered. There were no evidence. There <laughs> was no evidence. No, the evidence okay, was... so if there was no evidence, there's nothing, nothing good happened. So we need to focus on defense. There was no defense. That's what we need to focus on. Tampered. There was no physical evidence at all. It was a hearsay. Um, no evidence at all. That's why they had to tamper with the evidence. That's why they did not investigate him. He was supposed to get his phone call. What's up, y'all? It's the most beautiful host. It's the Rose Soul Supernatural AOC, mainstream exposed AOC. And I am back with another video. I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but I got some news. I got some news for y'all, okay? And this is one of those I told you so moments. This is one of those, like, I, I told you so moments, because I told you so. I'm going to just jump out of school. I know this video is probably going to piss a lot of people off, but I do not care. Okay? As my title says, Rashad Jamal has been sentenced to 16 years of prison. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this. Everybody's giving their opinion and things of that nature, but I want to come and break something down real quick. I want to just shine a light on something just real quick, okay? Um, I want to talk about the reason. I want to kind of touch base on the reason why he's locked up because the videos that I have been seeing, first of all, are from a lot of his supporters, are from a lot of his followers, okay? People that are subscribed to his teaching and things of that nature. And one thing that they all have in common, from what I can see for myself, is that they think that the reason that he's locked up is because of um, he's speaking out against the system. Anybody that speaks out against the system they got to come and get on it, da, 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 and all this weird stuff, okay? So I just want to come and put some context behind this divine intervention, because that's what this is. This is what you call a divine intervention, because for one, I know a lot of people may think that he's locked up because of his teaching. People say the same thing about nature, he's locked up because of his teaching. No. I wanted everybody to hear this being expressed from a different point of view. Because I can't say, ah, oh, I watch all these people she's going to mention. I can't say, oh, I'm an avid viewer of that so called alleged community or anything like that. You know, uh, to that community, I'm just an outside source that just look a kind of like it you know but this will lay it out for us all in my reality that really don't make sense to me that makes zero sense to me and this ain't got nothing to do with what they say because everything that nature boy has said everything that rashad jamal has said there have been tons of people they came out and said the same exact thing before them. They just wording it differently, okay? When I was in the whole black power and all this occult information and knowledge community, the first person that I followed was 13 Sun. And so this was back in got down on 20, 2010, 2011. This was a way long time ago, way back, but listen, before we even heard of a Rashad Jamal. Okay, I don't even think uh, my brother Young Pharaoh was out around that time. Probably even further back than that, maybe 2008, 2009-ish, when I was pregnant with my first daughter, I was watching 13 Sun. And a couple of other more people with It has been so many people that have came and paved the way for a nature boy, for uh, Rashad Jamal, and for all these people, <coughs> for them to be able to come and plagiarize what previous speakers have said, because that's all they're doing. They're just plagiarizing certain things that other people have said. None of the stuff that they have taught is original information. Trust me, I know. I've been around for a long time. There's nothing that Rashad Jamal has said or Nature Boy has said 
that was not said before. It's nothing new under the sun. So all these people that are idolizing him, talking about some, oh, we got to go break him out of jail and all this weird shit. Like, this nigga ain't make up nothing new. This nigga ain't said nothing new. This nigga ain't taught nothing new. This nigga sat around, watched a bunch of videos, and just memorized it and reworded it. That's called plagiarism. When you're copying someone else's work, okay, now they might not have said it word now. They might not have said these things like word for word verbatim, okay? They might have put a little bit of their own seasoning to it and a little bit of their own sauce to it, but they didn't make this shit up. They are not the inventors. They are not the authors of this information that they bring into like what all you gotta do is listen to these people listen to Rashad Jamal listen to that damn nature boy listen to 13 Sun listen to Flora it's just so many I can keep naming them it's just so many people that me personally that I've listened to when I was in that information that said all this shit that they had been saying so the point of me saying all that is to make this point He's not locked up because of any information he was bringing to the people. He's not locked up for speaking that damn system because why Flubron ain't locked up? Why 13 Sun ain't locked up? Why all the people that paved the way for them to come and say the same exact shit ain't locked up? So this ain't really got nothing to do with what he's saying. Like he's bringing some goddamn top secret classified information, okay? I feel like the only way we're going to get information like that is if it comes from some goddamn interdimensional extraterrestrial goddamn beings that's going to give us humans on Earth some information that we ain't never seen or heard before. That's the only way we get something new. Possibly. Possibly, okay? Now, the reason why they're saying that he's locked up, this whole little... Uh, charge and him being locked up in the beginning was because of some child if word um, allegations that came up against him. Grandpa's. Okay, so obviously they found his ass guilty and they gave his ass 16 years for that child M word. Playing St. Nick's buddy. Allegations. Okay. Now we're going to dig a little bit deeper. Okay, we're going to dig a little bit. First of all, first of all, let me say this. I don't know Rashad Jamal. The nigga say he's from Chicago. The people, nobody ever heard of a Rashad Jamal until he came online. Like, what high school you went to? Who know you? As far as I'm concerned, he's an agent from overseas from goddamn where shit. As far as I know, she, he goddamn could be an extraterrestrial. Okay, so that's what he like to talk about. But anyway, let's really get to it. Me personally, I'm not saying that those allegations are not true. They could very well be true. I don't know the nigga. Okay, you can't look at somebody and say, oh yeah, he looked like he messed with children. You can't, they, you can't identify them by the way they look. We don't really know too much about it. But for them to have charged him and sentenced him, it's, it's some form of evidence, evidence there, okay? But even looking into the microscope a little bit deeper, me personally, my opinion is, I feel like this is divine intervention. I feel like this is God putting his foot up his ass and it's not gonna stop with him, okay? The, the fall of the continuity is happening right before everyone's eyes. And I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. If I hadn't got out when I did, okay? Okay, this is the part where I, where I thumb the video down. Um, because she about to start talking about how she went to Jesus, all right? It was just, it was just another false god. But what she said was key. She see, she gonna tell you about Jesus in a minute, but she didn't say that right here. She said, "This is God," which she believed would be the Most High intervening and she said in her opinion this is just the beginning i'm gonna tell you what we as a bloke broken blokes we as a broken clock society and a broken clock is right twice a day now she made two very key points in this one i feel like this is divine intervention so that's a pulp fiction moment right So, ladies and gentlemen, think about this. When you sit here and hear these people talk, and you don't know what they're talking about, it's because they're talking in code. They have their own form of legalese. They're saying the same things 
that your other oppressors are. Even the ones with Christianity in their pantheon, even the ones that say, oh, I'm not going to be Christian, I'm going to worship these, I'm a Viking, I'm going to worship that pantheon, or I'm this, and I'm going to worship that pantheon. They're all doing the same shit. So, think about this is how we started this. Nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed. Except for the screen freezes a lot. Alright, we got a lot of freezes going on. Listen, this is always about the soul of the viewer. I got nothing to gain by lying to you. I don't show you from all these simple ass Wikipedia excerpts and and out of the actual Bible. Take what you want to take, leave what you want to leave. I want to thank everybody for, for their assistance and to my to the viewership. Couldn't do this without you. I want to thank uh, Harold and the Davis family. I want to thank Mary and the Cook family. And, uh, I know, I know, uh, it's, uh, from Casey. I want to thank Terrell and the Bra uh, Brian family. I want to thank Sandra and the Sumter family. I want to thank Patrick and the Smith family. Again, Harold and the Davis family. I want to thank uh, Dijuan and the Manuel family. I want to thank Jafeth and the Harrison family. I want to thank Sharon and the Halstead family. I want to thank Markel and the Merriweather family. I want to thank Matthew and the Alston family. I want to thank Demarcus and the Wells family. I want to thank Colby and the Underwood family. I want to thank Jonathan and the Emerson family. I want to thank Dustin and the Williams family. I want to thank Elmer and Lisa, the French family. I want to thank Maud, Fahim, and family. And Caitlin and the Richardson family. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is how we make our finances. We research this stuff. We present it to you. We make our, our finances through donations from you. And we know that for you to donate, that takes from you and your family because it's a shared relationship. So I want to take the time to thank these people. Cassidy and the Clark family. I want to thank Scott and the Thompson family. Dennis and the Strokes family. Thank you. Wilner and the Laurenville family. And I want to thank Jermaine and the Davis family. Uh, if somebody calls themselves uh, Rael, I want to thank you and your family. Yeah, and that, it, it, it does bring a little bit of joy to see that somebody has a name and it's in a different belief, you know, and, and they are.
you know, um, because, you know, it's clear to some degree we've, we've, we've reached them with some, some of the information, you know, um, there's been times I've, I've looked at this very, uh, foolishly and, and, uh, well, why did you pick this name? And it's no different than any of us picked a name. We had some view of life before these moments and stuff. Uh, I want to thank Teresa and the Mabel, uh, Teresa Mabel and the Bias family. I want to thank Teron and the Lamar family. I want to thank Michael and the Brown family. I would like to thank Aaron and the Gardner family. I'd like to thank Brian and the Shiloh family. I want to say thank you to Sean and the Lloyd family. I'd like to thank Justin and the Deeds family. I'd like to thank Tracy and the Kelly family. I'd like to thank Willie and the Williams family. Rome and the Robertson family. Rob Burson, excuse me. A person has himself titled as follow the THM as the most high. Thank you and thank you family for donating to our family. Kema and the Arms family, thank you. I want to thank Antonio and the Shepherd family. I mean, this that's one of those last names that's pretty cool, right? I mean, Jacob's a shepherd, and he's got the last name Shepherd. Ah, oh, man. A person that goes by Drathio, or Drath, Drathio. Thank you, and thank your family. Because uh, then this, this money doesn't appear from nowhere. It, 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 I appreciate that, that out of what you have, you have shared with us. Thank you to Ron, Ronald, excuse me, Ronald and the McLeod family. Ron's working on a piece. Uh, Terrell's working on a piece. Uh, all, a lot of people got some things they're working on. I got Rachel working on a piece. I got to get to her. Uh, we want to thank George and the Kolar family. Pardon me, man. I don't know. I can't think of it. I want to thank Grover and the Tyson family. I want to thank Ernest and the Williams family. I want to thank Trey and the Ford family. You know, a few of these names I've seen for years. It's great that you're all here. It's great that you're all still around. You know, um, everybody, thank you. And, and we really couldn't do this without you. I want to thank Chella because she puts a lot of time in. And from time to time, me and Chella talk. But everything that you see in Chella, that is on her own. Uh, uh, she has no instructions from me and to be there for all these videos and to to be able to reference other videos especially videos that uh I, you know i i i don't know when cello became became a viewer uh, you know as, as far as i can tell you know some people are recent because i don't see their name throughout history but to see uh how well she is with if you call it a catalog or how YouTube has videos catalog, she's amazing. And she's clearly, clearly a, a send from the most high to, and, and just as Joe is. And if everybody gets a chance in the bottom, uh, where, where, where you have the ability to donate in, in the show more, there's a link to, to Joe's, uh, Joe's t-shirts. He's made some t-shirts. They look very exciting. And uh, from there, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I hope people free their minds of this nonsense. They're sacrificing and worshiping shades. That's that's what they're doing. Shadows. Shall I be safe? Stay in the light. Spiritually.